Hello everyone, welcome to ValueSpectrum.com. In this video I'm going to make an overview of KLA 10 core company. In this menu you can see the prices button, which gives you the information about the prices of all European and American stocks. KLA 10 core company is traded at the US stock exchange and index is US tech index. All these companies are listed alphabetically. Here you can see uh, the maximum price and the minimum price of the past 12 months. Uh, we can select any stock uh, we need in this uh, menu bar. If we uh, select it, we will see the details of the company and a short overview. Uh, the company is active in uh, the technology sector and uh, semiconductor industry subsector. The company's uh, minimum price is 67 US dollars and uh, the maximum price is 90.26 US dollars. In the bottom you can see uh, the historical prices. If we press uh, the Alt button, we will see the price development for the company from 2005 to 2017. In 2005, the company was traded at uh, 39 US dollars, and uh, during the five years, the price was uh, very volatile, and uh, it decreased to 24. In 2010, if we look at the price development during uh, the last year, we see that uh, the price was a little bit unstable and uh, the company was traded at uh, 68 US dollars in March 2016 and uh, the price increased to 90 US dollars in uh, March 2017 uh, here we can see a uh, not sell recommendation for hold recommendation and for buy recommendations it uh, gives average uh, target stock price 84 US dollars. It's 6% uh, lower than the current stock price. It means that uh, the company is uh, a little bit overrated now. We can click uh, annual reports button. <coughs> Here we can see all of the uh, annual reports of the company. They can be downloaded here for free. You can go to the results menu. Here we can see uh, revenue, costs, profit, margin on profit and return on investments. We see that uh, the company had the lowest revenue equal to uh, 1.5 billion US dollars in 2009 and uh, the highest equal to uh, 3.175 in 2011. We see that um, revenues in 2014 increased by 86 million US dollars compared to 2013 and uh, revenue in 2015 uh, decreased by 115 million US dollars compared to 2014. We see that uh, the company had loss equal to 523 million uh, US dollars in 2009 and uh, the highest profit equal to uh, 794 million US dollars in 2011. We uh, see that uh, profit in 2015 uh, decreased by 217 million US dollars compared to 2014. If we go to the balance report, we will see all the most important information such as equity, debt, total assets, etc. Uh, in 2009, uh, the company's balance sheet equaled 
3.6 billion US dollars it's uh, the lowest value and uh, the equity equaled 2.1 billion US dollars this is around 60% of the total balance sheet in 2014 the balance sheet uh, increased to 5.5 billion US dollars it's uh, the highest value and uh, the equity equal to 3.6 billion US dollars this is around 66% of the total balance sheet we see that in 2014 5,880 people were employed at the company if you look at uh, the details page Here we can see all the information about uh, price, earnings per share, price earnings ratio, etc. See that uh, the company had uh, negative earnings per share equal to uh, 0 0.93 in 2009 and uh, the highest earnings per share equal to 4.98 in 2011 see that in uh, 2015 earnings per share uh, decreased by 0 0.44 compared to 2014 in 2014 uh, price earnings uh, ratio equal to uh, 14 so uh, the market valued the stock at 14 times 2014's earnings per share we see that in 2015 price earnings uh, ratio increased to 22 it's uh, the highest historical value in 2015 the company's market capitalization equaled uh, 11.1 billion US dollars and in 2015 the company had 158 million stocks listed in our next video, we will take a look at some other US companies. Thanks for watching.